Well, it is October, and I suppose you're expecting some kind of creepy Halloween-esque content, and for that, I give you from Sad Square Studio, Visage, a 2020 walking sim that plays to the horror crowd. Before we get into it, I want to give a quick mention before you can even skip it. My buddies over at Andar.com, makers of fine leather goods, use my promo code FRY20 to save 20% at checkout. Largely inspired by PT, the Silent Hill playable trailer, this is as grim dark as you are going to see on the Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, well, this game just left for that matter. Weirdly enough, why would you take off your creepiest game in October and then move your games with gold from four games to two and not have any for the month of October that are of theme? In Visage, you are a person stuck inside a creepy house. Now, there are a few things here that are really quite novel and enjoyable. Occasionally, the lights will turn off behind you, in front of you, maybe a door will slam, and this will scare your character you'll lose some of your sanity and when your insanity gets too high you get taken out that's probably the most novel gameplay mechanic visage has to offer because the story i couldn't make heads or tails out of what was happening you try to interact with these different chapters and learn about the residents of the house uh, for example this guy rakin he was in a psych ward so you're whisked away to the psych ward however you don't really understand the full story here why he's in there exactly I, or what came of him so much and your only chance to really Really get through these chapters is going to be with a video guide because visage does not hold your hand at all your objective is never clear and in my first reaction stream I accomplished absolutely nothing in an hour but there are a lot of frightful moments and creepy visuals some of this stuff uh, seems familiar and I'm sure in a lot of ways it's in reference other times there's a fun little easter egg, a little gotcha. There are times where Visage may give you outlast vibes as someone is pursuing you. I was able to juke this oily dude. Felt pretty good about that, especially as given as dark as this area was. And you don't even have the ability to hold a candle or a light of any kind. Well, not in this area, anyhow. But speaking of holding objects, man, the gameplay in here is, wow, these controls are just pathetic. It is so cumbersome on an Xbox controller trying to figure out how to pick up and drop items. Item management is abysmal. You need to take the pills to get your sanity down, uh, but you can't tell how many pills are in a container. Your efforts to try to drop an item may result in eating all your pills or burning through lighter fluid. Only through a video guide with narration was I able to make any progress whatsoever before this left game pass, and thus I was able to get the full thousand gamer score. All the while having little clue as to what happened with the story, what became of your character. I just think that Visage's main focus here was creepy visual scenarios with little concern for things that make one a video game. Controls are unnatural, the presentation is vague, and the story is incomprehensible. I give Visage a 7.0 out of 10. You just watched a video from my son. He's about 40 and lives in my basement ladies so subscriber and notify the bell for ringing okay i said what you wanted me to say now do the goddamn dishes